When I say bananas, you say peppers. And you guys, it is finally time to unbag a baby. This is gonna be a reborn of sorts. Also a mystery thing of sorts. I have honestly had this for a little while, but every now and again, you guys tag me in this creator's, this store's videos. And a couple of months ago, they like hatched an avatar one. So then I was like basically gonna try and wait and do two unboxings in one video. But I keep like sporadically checking back and it seems like the avatar ones now are not happening or they still have not happened. I don't know, but I'm sick of waiting. And it is birthing Friday. What day are you watching this video on? It's a Friday right now. So this is a reborn artist that I've never bought a creation from before until now called Dreamshire Nursery. Pretty sure this is the most expensive mystery item I have ever bought. I cannot remember now if this was like between 45 or $50. I did already feel film like a little up close clip of the packaging but this is a tiny silicone reborn doll but it's gonna be kind of a hatching experience. I don't know what the material is gonna be but they do come in these stars and it looks like it's gonna be like almost a foamy not foam but like do y'all see this? I don't know you guys. We have eight steps here. Prepare for wonder. Discover the squishy star. Handle with care. Locate the thin spot. Unveil the magic. Welcome your unique collectible. Handle your silicone baby tenderly. Treasure the magic. So yes, let me go ahead and film a little clip of all of these steps. And then you guys, let's just go ahead and unbag it. I hope I have not hurt it by leaving it in its original packaging for several months. But you guys, that is like how I do things. I don't know why. Like I will see things and I'm like, that would make a great video. And then it arrives in the mail and I'm like, you know what? I'll do that in five months. Oh my gosh. All right. So I did not think that this was gonna have any extras. Like they kind of, from what I remember, they acted like you could buy clothing and stuff separately. But honestly, for the size, I think that this Reborn is gonna be, the clothes did seem quite expensive. So I, I just thought I was just getting the doll today. But this is interesting, because at least it's a cute. I think that this is like, oh, <gasps> oh! There is a, what is, what is in there, y'all? What's in there? It's a baby bottle. Oh, it's like open on the bottom. Many interesting things are occurring. And then this just looks like it's gonna be a cute little fleecy blanket. I do like this kind of galaxy print. Let's see what else is in here. I'm assuming this is gonna be instructions. Now they did say, oh, it's a birth certificate. They say that there's six Oh, here they are, six different babies to collect. So it looks like three girl child options, three boy child options. And now, oh yeah, oh, that's so weird. I'm trying to like delicately pull this out because we are about to rip this star open. So I'm trying to not like accidentally rip it before I'm supposed to. Oh, this is like, Almost like a, oh, yeah, look at that. Ah, I don't know if it's like starting to separate or if that's what the weak spot means. This kind of feels like that vacuum. You know, you can like get that if you're doing like gift baskets or something from the dollar store, you get like the plastic and you shrink wrap it with a hair dryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this cause I don't wanna like too aggressively. Oh y'all, that feels like so. Weird. I keep wanting to call it foam. I I literally do not know why foam is not the texture, but oh y'all, what is this material? This is like so fascinating. Like it's very soft. Like it almost feels like a powdery like fabric or something, y'all. Okay, nothing else in the bag though. It's now empty. So yeah, look at that. 
Oh my gosh. I feel like I honestly need to do an updated tea vlog. I had to go to the dentist again and my phone slid off of my lap and fell onto the floor. But ever since then, I have been scared that my camera is like a little bit wonky. It's not like it's like broken, but I'm like almost scared like if all my pictures and videos look just slightly fuzzy. So you guys tell me, I'm pretty sure this is like the first video that I have filmed on my phone since then. Y'all, I kind of don't even want to tear this because it feels so weird. Like, are y'all seeing that? It's like so squishy. Like I honestly, it almost feels like it should be like food, like bread or something. I really, I don't even know. And I don't want to tear it. This is like the most fun part of the experience, but then I'm like, <gasps> It's just gonna be over. Wait, I have to be completely quiet because I hope y'all are gonna be able to hear this like tearing sound. Let me get the noisy plastic away from my leg. Okay. it go oh all right you guys i'm sure i'm sure you saw it just pop out like that oh my god so first let's examine the rest of the star because this is so fascinating so first of all i have to say the moment that i tore into this like the room began to smell like cherries but that kind of like almond extract cherry scent if you know what i mean and it's like foam like look at that like how is this done you guys because this is honestly like such an amazing experience i kind of can't get over the star if i'm being honest because it does feel like almost rubbery or latexy on the exterior and then yet when we were tearing into it the interior is like a memory foam pillow amazing i also think that you could like hold on to this if you wanted to i don't know like i wish that this was like an experience where somehow you could like reseal it and rip it back open maybe you could seal it with like eyelash glue or something that's a preposterous thought however here is the little baby so these are the details quite interesting now they do say on the back of the packaging i did notice that they do say that be aware that this is a hundred percent handmade and as such it may exhibit imperfections these unique variations add to its character and should not be considered defects you know that's something that i do always look at with the reborn dolls that we unbox here you guys know i'm always like trying to see like do they look like they just came out of a mold like kind of when we've compared like the real versus fake of the avatar babies or like comparing the kind of quality reborn doll you get on like timu or something i always think it's like interesting to show you guys because you know that is what I always say my reborn videos is I just like these things because to me they're fun they're funky for me they're just like props like little random squishy items but I do know for some people these are like they're trying to get as realistic of a baby look as they can get but you guys know me i like the weird ones i like the creatures you know so i'm definitely not looking for anything that is like super realistic but i do always like to kind of show you guys that in case you're looking for something that is super realistic i think that this is mia melody what do you guys think i think based on the hair color that that is who we got today Day. So that is kind of my only thing is I do wish they actually came with like the little diaper and stuff. But I think I was just thinking like in comparison of the price of the doll compared to like, I want to say the clothes was like $15 extra or something. And so I was like, eh, maybe I'll just like make them a little diaper. And then I think also the mini 
what were those called? Like the five surprise mini babies. I think those were coming out at the same time. So then I was kind of thinking like maybe they were going to be relatively the same size. And honestly, I should see if I can grab one of those now because I do feel like this doll is much larger. Yeah, there you go. That's the size comparison. Don't know why I thought that the clothes from one would fit on the other but I don't think it would be like that difficult to maybe use the diaper from the five surprise ones and make a pattern and like cut it out of fabric. I feel like that would be like very very easy to do. So I would love to know what you guys think of the doll. I think it's pretty cute. I do always like wish that they had the eyes like y'all know this thing I've shown y'all this a bunch of times like I got this on AliExpress and it is a pop socket which is very strange but I do always love when you can like pop the eyes out but obviously I feel like that's much more difficult to do when you are like a small independent artist that's probably like a lot harder to sculpt and insert the eyes and then it would probably double the price of the doll. You know, like the more detailed reborn dolls get, the more expensive they get. Now, I will just say I am super impressed by like the quality, like the feel of the doll. I feel like that's always what divides like a high quality reborn from like, you know, a cheaper lower quality doll is just like how soft and almost like powdery it feels. Cause that's like, on this one now like it picks up every little bit of hair and stuff on the floor every little speck of sand and dirt so it does say that you can wash this one and powder it I think they say with like baby powder it's kind of funny because I always use like an older one of my favorite Givenchy setting powders it has like a little bit of sparkle to it but I started using that years ago when I got the Avatar Reborn just because I thought that that was like cuter to have it like be sparkly more whimsical so yeah they just say handle with care that you can wash it with lukewarm soapy water talc free baby powder and that's basically it you guys quite a short video I feel like now this seller does sell other little accessories on their site one of the things that I saw they were selling is one of my favorite car accessories clips onto the air vents and it's a little chair and originally it was for Blythe dolls, but I see people using them now all the time for like small plushies, reborns, etc, etc. So I did see them doing that like really cutely with this size baby. Like they were showing like, oh, you can get the chair and the little like mystery reborn. And then this can be like a little accessory in your car. And that's really what I feel like these are perfect for. Like if you just want something like fun, like a little weird conversation piece on your desk or in your car or in the bottom of your purse that's what these things are kind of perfect for they are you know super squishy which is why I think the silicone ones are the most fun I feel like that's just the type of reborn that everybody is looking for these days I feel like most of the time when you see reborns or hear reborns they're not like the vinyl types of dolls anymore and yeah you guys it's cute. I feel like it's been a long, long time since I've unboxed a Reborn doll. I feel like the last ones I did were the ones that I got off of Timu, and that was a different experience altogether. But anyway, you guys, I would love to know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I really only feel like the downside of this is the price. You know, for a single mystery item, it is on the more expensive side. I do love the interactive feature of it, but that is a little bit expensive. So yeah, that sounds so interesting though. Listen. Isn't that cool? Uh, anyway though, you guys, let me know. Should I look for more mysteries like this? Should I keep my eye open for the Avatar babies? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, which is gonna be very, very soon. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I will be back very soon. And I love you guys. Bye.